paddle boarding adventure this morning. Kevin has some plans this afternoon with a buddy of his and I am just gonna get some work done around the house and head to the beach. You got me feeling all Going fishing. Yeah. I'm super stoked. I haven't fished in probably 15 years, maybe more. I don't even know what I'm really doing, but my buddy is pretty freaking good. So hopefully we will catch something and we will show you what it's like to be out on the water near my hometown. Waiting for Tyler to arrive. This is one of the casinos in Atlantic City. It's got a marina here with a bunch of boats. And I'm hoping we score today. I'm not really sure which type of fish we're gonna catch, but I'm sure Ty will clear that up for us. Hopefully we'll get here soon. Tyler, my best friend since preschool. Welcome, yes. Preschool. We're 28, 20, yeah, both 28, so it's been what? I don't even know. 22 years now? First time out on his boat. You're 28? I know, I'm 29. I'm 30. Today. Is today your birthday? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, this is it. This is my 30th birthday, and we're going fishing. Dude. Holy okay. And your 30th birthday, right? I completely forgot. Wow. At least you got it on film. Yeah, this is awkward, ain't it? But uh, Ty's got, he's a pro fisherman out here, so. No, I'm not. I, I just got into it a few years ago. <laughs> Hopefully we'll catch some stuff. But uh, he also has a crazy cool log cabin that I've been trying to get him to film. So maybe uh, after this, he'll get a camera out and start uh, doing some cool stuff over there. Probably not. But maybe. All right, so that was pretty embarrassing. Yeah, it's his big 3-0, and I blew it. So now we definitely got to catch some fish. All right, so we just jumped in the water and this is my GoPro mount. Notice how the GoPro's gone. I was an idiot, jumped right in, and the GoPro popped off. And it's now 40 foot, 40 feet on the bottom with all the fish that we caught. <laughs> so we have no proof. Okay, it's better to not have proof. And we're gonna edit the background, so if you see Atlantic City, it's not where we're at. <laughs> we're 200 miles offshore, Key West. Exactly. So, we'll get some more. But now we gotta use this. Stephen mistakes. We're fishing the same structure that we were fishing previously. For tog and all the other shit that we're you know catching, but in this case we're moving and we're drifting. And we're not really necessarily trying to go over the stickiest part of the structure, although some guys will tell you that's the best spot to go slow over to catch big flounder. But we're just trying to get close to the structure or over top of it while drifting, ideally you know, under two miles an hour. Two miles an hour is kind of like the break point where you're like, all right, you either got to back troll or go do something different. Mm -hmm. Back troll meaning put the boat in reverse to compensate for the speed. You want to stay under a mile an hour. We'll see, I don't do much flounder fishing, so I'm not an expert at it. 
and I'm, I don't do much because it's hard. But I can guarantee that I can catch flounder if you have the endurance <laughs> <laughs> to catch flounder. Real quick. On to the next spot. Good. No good. Don't let your balloons go, guys. Your happy birthday is not making the ocean happy. <laughs> well, happy birthday to you, man. Doing it right, cleaning it up. I'll do that. Currently, we have a little bit of wind against the tide, but the wind's so light, it's under five knots, so it's not really hurting us. Right now, I pulled to the other edge of the structure, and we're going to drift across. Little sea bass here. Nothing to brag about. Yeah, he's yeah. Right. That's how you would measure a fish to get a legal measurement. Close the mouth, push it against the board. You don't measure to the longest portion of the tail, you measure to the center or the shortest portion. This fish is just under 14. 40, under 14, so he's he's legal. Sweet. He's gonna be dinner for Mathers on the map. Hell yeah. Woo! Ow. So this is a sea robin. Jeez. They have, an, they have an armor head. The back of them is pretty soft. And it's actually good, good white meat. Good fish to eat. Most people don't. They throw them back. And they're solid white meat. So if you catch one that's a couple pounds, they're good to eat. And that's not really how I like to release them, but uh, <laughs> that's how he went back. <laughs> Hey, at least he's back. 81.9 degrees. The Atlantic Ocean in New Jersey. 81.9 degrees. Are you kidding me? Caught another sea bass. We're off to go get, try and catch some mahi. We'll see how it goes. All right. White belly indicates it's a male tile. Go ahead and let him go. We're close to a keeper. We're going to measure him. Yep. Well, nice fish, dude. First tog, good fight. It's a female. What, because the brown bottom? Or not white? Because of her dark color all the way through. What's the rule to keep it? 15. 15. We were at 14? That was a little over 14. Dang. Keep doing what you're doing. Get First tog, almost. Trigger fish? Can't push it down. That's their trigger. Very sharp. Real sharp teeth. But you can push it down. You can push there. Otherwise, it doesn't go down. That's so weird. If you had the chance. See, there's no 
Yeah. All right, Schultz. Right, Had a good time. Thanks again, man. Good morning guys. Today we are currently on our way to Ocean City, New Jersey to go to Dot's Pastry Shop because we are reviewing not only their glazed donut, but we're meeting up with my family to try everyone's favorite donut from Glaze Pastry Shop. So from Dot's Pastry Shop. From Dot's Pastry Shop, yes, that's right. So my favorite is obviously the glaze. What is your favorite? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I always eat the glaze, but I'm not really sure. My mom likes a jelly, my dad likes a cream and a chocolate frosted, so we're going to the shop right now to get like a dozen, maybe more, and take it to my parents' house and do a tasting for you guys. Because I know if you've been following our journey, we've been on the hunt for a better glazed donut than Dots, so now we're going to give you the full shebang. Where are we? Seventy-eight. And we're officially known in dots as the glazed donut people. All right, so we just got fourteen donuts, and the total is twenty-two eighty-seven. So you cannot beat their pricing. We do not get any special discount whatsoever. This is the same price that everyone else gets. And the donuts are just so, so good and so affordable. It's the best. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Or should we say good afternoon? We got here at uh, what time? Nine, I think. So, Way before and it's, these uh, two were up. Ten fifty four. <laughs> Thanks to, uh, Hi. and then we're all, I was here early, wait for the donuts. Love my donuts. All right, there's a little body. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Can I get some donuts? We have a rainbow sprinkle, jelly, a chocolate Hi. glaze, a cream, pretzel glaze, glaze, white cream donut with chocolate frosting. <laughs> and, uh, I think that's it. Hopefully we weren't supposed to get the Boston cream because we didn't get that. All right, so Cole, what you pick there? Uh, I like chocolate frosting, vanilla cream. All right. Ash, what are you going with? I'm going with the powder vanilla cream. Hmm, sounds interesting. Doesn't sound as good as glaze. Rich. Richard, what you pick there? Uh, I'm more about like a lot of different donuts, but my favorite from Dots is, uh, is this it? Yeah. Where's the cream at? In the back. I think it's in that. Oh, in the back. Okay. <laughs> uh, me a little uh, change up here. Uh, white vanilla cream is my fave. I am a jelly girl. Yum. All right. Sailor. I usually eat the glaze, but today I got a apple fritter to try. It's the first time you ever had this one? I think so. From here. Tara used to work at Glaze, so she yes. should have uh, the oh. expert opinion. Oh. <laughs> Hi, what do you want, baby? <laughs> My favorite is the rainbow sprinkle. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> There's also a pretzel glaze that Tara and Ashley think are better than the glaze. Is that true? Yes. The knots in the pretzel Ooh. get a little glob. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. 
Hi. <laughs> you want mommy's donut, don't you? The knot in the pretzel holds more glaze, and it's just the perfect combination. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Or what's and your I reasoning? I think that the pretzel glaze donuts are thinner, so the glaze to pretzel ratio is better than just like a thick donut. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the glaze, the legendary glaze. Glaze is pretty much wrapped around all the way. It's pretty fluffy, and when you chew it, it kind of doesn't necessarily expand like some of them. And it just tastes so sweet. The glaze just melts in your mouth. Delicious. This is the pretzel glaze the girls love so much. It's a little bit thinner than the regular glaze, but it has this knot right here in the middle that holds all of the glaze, which is the girls' favorite part. And it's still very good. Just a little thinner. This has more of a boardwalk donut taste, I think, because it's thinner, so it's a little bit more like greasy, like more fried mm. than the regular donut. So mom is whipping up her famous bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel sandwiches. It's a secret recipe. I'll give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. This is glorious. How is it? Delicious. 